Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this month for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. We frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for we beseech you, O Lord, your, your grace into our hearts. hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray the Oracio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to have to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthening their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us for his crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. Amen. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsol. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand.
Immaculate Mother, sing you do we plead to us, God our Father, for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Monica, the mother of Saint Augustine. We continue to imitate the faith of St. Monica, but most especially her continuous and persistent prayer for the renewal of her son, St. Augustine. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my, my words, words, in what I have done in and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Aminoon na awat ka, Aminoon na awat ka. Kristo ba awat ka? Kristo ba awat ka sa? Paginoon na awat ka, Paginoon na awat ka. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine. Grant us, through the intercession of them both, that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many 
were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise, and God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong, and God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boss before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down. He says, all mankind. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to the third one to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately, the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Other, likewise, the other one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. 
See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. <clears throat> Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then, to the one who received the one talent, came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, investing where you did not plant, and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So, you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest in my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with the ten. For to the one or to everyone who has, more will be given, and he who will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away, and throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today po, we celebrate the memorial of St. Monica. Si St. Monica po ay nanay, mother, ni St. Augustine. Para po mas makilala natin si St. Monica, let us try to learn po muna kung sino si St. Augustine. Si St. Augustine po is one of the greatest saints of the church, no? Bakit po? She or he defended the church, no? Marami po siyang ginawang mga sermon, mga mga speeches, no? Para po i-defend ang Catholic faith, no? Yan po ang ginawa ni St. Augustine. Pero ang ang kakaiba po sa buhay ni St. Augustine ay Siya po ay, ang, ang tawag ka po nila ay si St. Augustine daw po ay may dalawang buhay. The before and after. Ano po yung before and after? Ang before po ay ibig sabihin po ay nung siya po ay uh, barumbado pa, sugarol, no? maraming bisyo, no? makasalanan. Then yung after naman po ay nung siya ay nagbago, at siya na po ay naging banal, naging holy, and later on po naging obispo, at yun na nga po naging santo. No? So, naging dalawa ang buhay po ni, ni St. Augustine. Yung before, ay nung siya po ay makasalanan pa, then yung after, ay nung siya ay naging holy, naging banal. Si St. Monica naman po, na nanay niya, ay of course, she was there to take care of her son, kagaya ng mga nanay. No? Si St. Monica po, hindi po niya pinabayaan ang kanyang anak. Nung si St. Augustine po ay na, napakawal anak at napariwara ang kanyang buhay. No? Nung naging sugarol, nung siya ay na, nalulong sa inumin, sa, sa babae, at kung ano-anong mga bisyo at mga kasalanan, Si St. Monica po ay nandoon na nagtiwala kay St. Augustine na magbabago si St. Augustine. Number two, 
naniwala siya na may kabutihan pa kay St. Augustine. And number three, fourth importantly po, no? pinagdasal niya ng pinagdasal ang kanyang ana. No? Sabi nga po sa mga stories about the life of St. Monica, no? every day si St. Monica po ay pupunta sa simbahan. Anong gagawin niya doon? Dada pa sa simbahan, magdarasal para ipanalangin ang pagbabago o yung tinatawag natin na transformation ng kanya pong anak. No? Matagal po na ilang taon po niyang hinintay ito. But every day po, hindi po nagsawa si St. Monica para maniwala sa kabutihan ng kanyang anak, sa pagbabago ng kanyang anak, at lalong-lalo na po sa grasya ng Diyos na meron pa pong pag-asa na maging mabuting tao ang kanyang anak na si San Agustin. And lo and behold, nagbunga po ang dasal ni San Pamonica, no? At yun na nga po ang nangyari, no? Na convert si Saint Augustine na hindi lamang po na convert from being a sinful person naging naging Kristiyano, hindi lamang po doon nagtapos, no? Naging obispo pa ang kanyang anak at hindi lamang po ordinaryong obispo, no? Siya po ay tinangala ng buong simbahan and he even defended the faith, no? And siya po ay declare na santo, no? So, yun po yung nangyari sa buhay ng mag-inang ito, no? Na si Santa Monica po played a great role. Sabi nga po nila, di ba? The rise of a great leader or a great man is a great woman. Sabi nga po nila, no? Yung tulong ng isang dakilang ina kay San Agustin. Kaya nga po, nung si San Agustin po ay na-declare na santo, nung research na po nila ang kanyang buhay, nakita nila na malaki ang parte doon ng kanyang nanay. No? Ng sinakripisyo ng kanyang nanay. Kaya, Saint Monica was also declared a saint, a santo. Dahil sa kanyang paniniwala sa Diyos, sa kanyang pananampalataya na pwede pang magbago ang kanyang anak, sa kanyang pagsasakripisyo at pagdarasal para sa kanya pong anak. And most importantly po, ang kanyang pagdarasal at ang kanyang pagiging example sa kanyang anak na si San Agustin. So today po, this is the same message po sa atin. No, sana po, number one, we continue to believe in the goodness of each and every one. No? Maniwala tayo sa kabutihan ng bawat isa. Number two, sana tayo din po ang rason kung bakit naging mabuti ang isang tao o nag-transform ang isang tao no from a, a bad person into a good person. Hindi sana tayo ang maging rason kung bakit ang isang tao ay mabait then naging bastos or mabait then naging ma, masamang tao dahil sa influensya natin. No? Rather, sana tayo po ang mag inspire sa isang tao o sa kapwa natin na maging mabuting kristyano, kagaya ng ginawa ni Santa Monica sa kanyang anak. And lastly, let us continue to believe in the power of prayer. No? Kung minsan, sasagutin ng Diyos agad-agad ang dasal natin, pero kung minsan, taon ang kailangan natin antayin bago dumating ang grasya na hinihiling natin. But let us remember po, God has His own time. God has His own plan. What is important po ay manatili tayo sa ating pananampalataya sa Kanya. Kagaya po ng ginawa ni Santa Monica, no? hindi po siya bumitaw sa kanyang pananampalataya sa Panginoon. At ano pong nangyari? Siya po ay biniyayaan ng grasya. Siya po ay biniyayaan ng anak, hindi lamang po ng conversion, 
ni San Agustin kung hindi isang banal, isang holy na anak no nagbunga ang dasal po ni Santa Monica. So let us today imitate the example of our patron saint today, Saint Monica. Let us continue to believe in the goodness of each other. Let us continue to inspire others to become better. And most especially, let us continue to pray and believe in the power of God. Amen. Please stand. When we appear before the judgment seat of God, we will have to account for our use and misuse of the gifts entrusted to us. In prayer, we seek the help of our Creator. As we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always use the many different gifts of our members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may respect God's plan by protecting and promoting the value of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all people may share in the earth's resources, and that everyone may cooperate in bringing human and economic development of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That doctors, nurses, and those in the healthcare profession may use their gifts to bring Christ's love and compassion to the poor, the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal rest be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, through the intercession of Saint Monica, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be entrusted with greater ones when we come into your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We bring you this sacrifice 
or sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate Blessed Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fit or fruitful with the strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God. Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Please all kneel, magsiluhod po tayong lahat. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all this curse, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of us peace Behold the Lamb of God Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray the ark of his spirit to our communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. One prayer One Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we. Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of Blessed Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now sing a song to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, Espes Nostra Salve, Ad Te Clamabus, Exules Filieve, Ad Te Suspiramus, Gementes et lentes, 
in hoc lacri marum vale. Eia ergo advocata nostra, ilos tuvos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis pos hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, o pia, o Virgo Maria. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepare the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, to become the worthy dwelling place of your Son. Grant that by her gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God. Pray for us. Sa mga bagong dating po sa ating pong misa, may susunod pa pong misa after this. Uh, it is good na mas kompleto po ang ating misa. We start it from the beginning at tapusin din po natin ang misa. Mas maganda po na makompleto natin ang misa. So sa mga bagong dating po, you can attend the next Mass. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And with Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead. To us, God our Father, for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria. Let's kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of God. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of God, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to thine God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.